The Flemish classics have many constants. Cobbled climbs, changeable weather and passionate support. And you can add to this list a team Flemish fans claim truly as their own. It's something in Flanders a lot of people are proud of. If you see how many big riders we already had in the team in the past, it's a, a bit of a statue in Flanders. And not only in Flanders, and actually in, in the cycling world. We are a small team, but we have a lot of respect to the big teams because they know how we work, what we do, and uh, that we deliver quality. Through its history, Sport Flandre and Baloise's mission, much like their jersey and name, has barely changed. For a quarter of a century, the team has acted as a stepping stone for Flemish riders to reach the top level, and its track record is mightily impressive. 20 graduates of the team currently ride at world tour level, including the likes of Sepp van Mark, Thomas de Ghent, and Sunweb's Edward Turns. I was actually in my last year under 23, so as an amateur, and then uh, after that, I had to make a decision. Uh, if I would have not have got in contact with uh, Sport Vlaanderen, um, yeah, then probably I would have gone for my uh, studies and uh, never become a professional cyclist. So it was uh, my first year as a pro, I came in the team, and uh, for me it was a super important step to, to get to where I am now. Their goal is to get young guys, amateur riders, make them, give them a chance as a professional rider, and then try to get them in a, in a, in a big team or a world tour team. So um, they are always really happy if they succeed in their goal, but on the same time, it makes it really hard for them to get results because the good guys, they always lose to the big teams. Given a high turnover of riders and a youthful squad, leadership qualities among the ranks can be hard to find. However, one stalwart has been providing that experience to Sport Vlaanderen for over a decade. Former Belgian national champion, Preben van Hecke. I'm now um, starting my 11th year uh, here at uh, Sport Vlaanderen. Yeah, experience, uh, you can say I'm the oldest. I'm the oldest guy in the team and uh, I have the, the most years as professional rider on my name. So uh, I think uh, they use me a little bit as captain on the road here and I uh, assist the younger riders and uh, tell them something about the, the, the parkour and everything and that's a bit my job in the team. The last few years we've given away some good riders to the Pro Tour teams and uh, I don't say that's all of my credit but I worked for it also a little bit with them and uh, that, uh, that gives some uh, satisfaction. Despite the continual state of flux, the team has charted some notable results over the years. Ask anyone involved with the team and one victory comes to mind immediately. 2015's Dwarz do Vlaanderen. That was really, I think, for Sport Vlaanderen an exceptional moment because um, the race finishes, I think, one kilometer from where the office is of the team. And uh, to have two riders in the front group of four with the world champion there. And Wale is there, hasn't got much left in the tank. Over four and a half hours in the saddle. His teammate Ed Turns now makes a move, but Wale just got time to enjoy the moment. It's a victory for Belgium, and it's a victory for Jelle Wale's. What a ride from the top four Vlaanderen team. And then we finished the race one and two. It was really, uh, I think, for the whole team, it was an, an amazing day. And for me, it's still a, a highlight in my career. And it's also the first time that I realized OK, maybe I can get some next, next steps into cycling. It was a victory that highlighted the benefits of the Sport Vlaanderen apprenticeship path. However, that route to the top could be now under threat, with World Tour teams increasingly willing to sign riders straight out of the under-23 ranks. For those behind the Sport Vlaanderen project, it's a career path young riders need to be cautious of taking. For yeah, a lot of guys, it turned out really good, and it's a super important step to, to have the first steps into cycling. And for myself, I was not 
the back then the super big talent so I knew I was not gonna go directly to a world tour team or something so um, yeah, I had the chance to join uh, Sport Vlaanderen and um, yeah, for me I just needed this step because otherwise I would have had nothing. It's clear that following in the footsteps of the likes of Tins is the aim of just about every Sport Vlaanderen rider. So who could be next to graduate from their ranks? I think Amorik Kapilt and um, also Emmy de Hent, um, Dries van Gestel. That are normally three guys I think they're going to leave the team next year. They're going to be promoted to another team. Three names to watch out for in what is sure to be a special year for a special team.